Hey everyone, welcome back to Miscellany. Today we have something special to unbox and dive into, the Elgato HD60X. If you're into content creation, streaming, or just want to capture those epic gaming moments, you're in the right place. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our tech reviews and unboxing. Alright, let's crack this box open and see what's inside. Right out of the box with the HD60X capture card, USB-C to a cable, and an HDMI cable. Underneath we've an Elgato brand sticker and a safety instructions booklet for the capture card. Elgato always does a great job with packaging. Everything is neatly organized and I can't wait to get this set up. Setting up the HD60X is a breeze. Just connect it to your gaming console or PC using the provided cables and you're ready to roll. HDMI out from the console connects to the HDMI in of the capture card and then the HDMI out from the capture card goes into your monitor or TV. You have the USB cable that came in the box, which is connected from your capture card to your computer. Now, many of you might be wondering, what's the difference between the HD60X and its predecessor, the HD60S Plus? Both of them are external capture cards so that you can plug them directly to any Windows or Mac computer. The setup process for both the capture cards are exactly the same. Both of these capture cards have as the analog audio import. On the HD60X, you're going to find this port on the front of the capture card, which is a very convenient location where you can connect the Chatlink Pro cable. 4K 120fps is not compatible with either of the capture cards. With HD60X, you can record in 2K 60fps, 1080 120 or 60fps, but if you are using the HD60S Plus, you won't be able to play in 2K 120fps. Higher refresh rates like 1080p 240 or 120fps can only be passed through using the HD60X. And with VRR support, which makes the H60X perfect for gaming, who has a TV which supports variable refresh rate, meaning you have a display which dynamically syncs its refresh rate based on the FPS output from your console or graphics processor. It's clear that Elgato is always pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the world of game capture. Now let's move on to recording gameplays. On the software end, you can either use OBS Studio or Elgato 4K game capture softwares to record your gameplays. I'll be using OBS Studio to record my game, and there are a few settings to keep in mind when setting up the Elgato HD60X for recording gameplay footage. I'll just share my screen, so first you need in the Elgato software, under settings you need to set input edit mode to internal. And in the OBS Studio, under Sources, you need to add your Elgato HD60X capture card. I've parried my PS5 with a 2K monitor, and these are video recording setting that I use for recording. So, after unboxing, comparing it with the HD60S Plus, and exploring its recording and pass-through capabilities, I think the HD60X is better when it comes to recording 2K and higher frame rate 120fps videos, whereas the HD60 Plus is capped at 60 and can't do 2K recording. If you're serious about content creation or capturing your gaming moments with the highest quality, the HD60X is definitely worth considering. 
That's it for today's video folks. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave any questions or comments down below. Subscribe for more tech content and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy gaming and recording.